Hey guys, today we're diving into the ultimate guide on scraping LinkedIn jobs. Whether you're job hunting, building a job board, or just curious about what's out there, this video will break down everything you need to know on how to automate the process. By the end of this video, you'll be able to set up a system that scrapes job postings from LinkedIn and organizes them neatly in a Google Sheet, all on autopilot. Are you ready? Let's get started. So first off, thanks for coming back and a big welcome to all of our new subscribers joining us today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Jake Dawson, and I'm here to bring you the latest in AI automation and workflow hacks that are easy to understand and apply. And as always, remember what we're covering here isn't just for fun, it's actionable stuff that you can put to work right away. Before we jump in, if you're new here, don't forget to check out the school community link below. Inside, you'll find exclusive templates, including the one that we'll be using today, so that you can follow along and get started quickly. Now let's dive right in. All right, let's talk about scraping LinkedIn jobs. Here's why this is such a big deal. LinkedIn is packed with opportunities, but let's be real, scrolling endlessly through job postings and copying details manually is not the dream. It's the opposite of fun. What if there was a way that we could grab all that valuable data, job titles, companies, locations, application links, and have it magically organized in a neat Google Sheet? Guess what? There is, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up. Let's get to it. First, let's talk tools. We're starting with Appify, which is like a turbocharged Roomba for the internet. But instead of cleaning floors, it scrapes websites. It's fast, precise, and knows exactly how to vacuum up the data you want while leaving the rest behind. It's perfect for LinkedIn jobs, and I'll show you exactly how to use it. Here's how you get started. Fire up your browser and head over to the Appify website. Don't have an account yet? No worries. Signing up is quick, free, and painless. Think of it like creating an account for a new streaming service, except this one's going to save you hours of manual labor instead of giving you another backlog of shows to binge. Once you're in, navigate to the Appify store. This place is like the App Store, but instead of games or social media platforms, it's filled with scrapers. Mini digital robots ready to fetch data for you. Type LinkedIn Job Scraper into the search bar and click on the result. Now, let me tell you why this scraper is an absolute gem. It's customizable, efficient, and won't cost you an arm and a leg. You can start with a $5 trial that lasts three days. Plenty of time to get your hands dirty and see what you can do. If you're impressed, and you will be, it's just $30 a month to keep it running. Think about it. You could spend hours manually collecting job data or you could spend less than the cost of a few lattes to let this tool do the heavy lifting. It's a no-brainer. All right, let's configure the scraper. When you open it, you'll see some fields where you can enter your search parameters. First, type the job title. Let's go with sales manager for this example. Next, enter the location. Let's use United States. You'll notice a few other options that let you narrow things down even further. For instance, there's a published at filter. Want fresh listings? Select past week. There's also a job type option. Choose full time if that's what you're after or click part time or contract if those fit your needs. Looking for entry level roles? Set the experience level to entry level. And if you're all about working from home, there's a filter just for that too. Just set it to remote. These options make the scraper super flexible so you can customize it to do whatever you're looking for. Once you've filled in all the parameters, click save and start. That's it. The scraper gets to work. And while it's doing its thing, you're free to grab a coffee, scroll through your Instagram feed, or binge a few TikToks. Seriously, it's that hands off. Now, scraping alone is great, but here's where the real magic happens. Automation. We're going to connect the scraper to make.com so it can send the collected data directly to a Google Sheet. No copy pasting required. Let's set it up. Log into make.com and create a new scenario. A scenario is basically a workflow, a step-by-step -step pipeline that automates tasks for you. Click the big plus button to get started. The first module you'll add is called tools and it has an action of set multiple variables. 
This module lets you create placeholders for the job title and location so you don't have to hard code anything. Think of it like pre-measuring ingredients before cooking. It makes everything smoother later on. In the module settings, create two variables. Name the first one keyword and set its value to sales manager. Name the second one location and set its value to United States. Hit OK to save. Next, we'll connect Appify to make.com. Add another module, search for Appify, and select Run an Actor. If this is your first time connecting Appify to make.com, don't worry, it's a breeze. Click Add in the Appify module, and you'll see a prompt to enter your API token. To find your API token, go back to your Appify dashboard, click Settings, then API and Integrations, copy the token you see there, paste it into make.com and hit save. That's it. Now your accounts are linked and they're ready to work together. Once you've connected your Appify account, look for the drop-down menu where you can choose your actor. Select the LinkedIn Job Scraper actor from the list. This tells make.com, hey, I want to use the LinkedIn Job Scraper to get my data. Once that's selected, you'll see a field labeled Input JSON. This is really where the magic happens. Now pause for a second and open up a new tab in your browser, go back to the Appify website and log in. Head to your Appify dashboard and find the LinkedIn job scraper under your saved actors. Click on it and you'll land on the actor's main page. At the top of the page, you'll see two buttons. One says manual and right next to it, there's a button labeled JSON. This is the one that we need. Go ahead and click on the JSON button and a field will appear with some code in it. Don't panic, it's not as scary as it looks. That code is your JSON template. It's like a set of instructions for the scraper telling it exactly what to look for. Things like job titles, locations, and any filters you want to apply. Highlight all the text in that field, right click and select copy. Now, switch back to make.com. In the input JSON field, right click and select paste. You've just pasted the instructions into the field. Nice work. Here's where it gets a little bit cooler. Right now, the JSON has hard-coded values for things like job title and location. For example, it might say something like title, sales manager, and location, United States. But here's the thing. We don't want to hard-code these values. Instead, we want the scraper to pull them dynamically from the variables we set up earlier. Remember those placeholders for keyword and location? To make this happen, look for the values in the JSON that you want to replace. For example, find the title, highlight sales manager, but leave the quotes intact, and replace it with the keyword from our first module. Do the same thing for the location, find location, United States, and replace United States with our location from the first module. This little tweak makes your workflow dynamic, so you can change the job title or location anytime without having to edit the JSON manually. You can even add more variables in the first module to change the scraping settings here, making your workflow even more customizable. For example, let's say you want to filter by job type, like full-time or part-time. In the tools module, add a new variable called contract type and set its value to F which stands for full-time. Then go back to your JSON and find the part where it specifies the job type. Something like contract type is equal to F. Replace F with our contract type to dynamically pull that value from your variables. Once you've made those changes, double check that everything looks good. Make sure everything is in the right place and that the variable names match exactly. If everything looks solid, click OK to save the configuration. Now comes the fun part. Let's get the results from the, our scraping. But here's the thing, scraping takes time. It's not instant magic. So we're going to add a sleep module in make.com. This tells the workflow to pause while the scraper finishes the job. Set the delay to three minutes, that's 180 seconds, to give it enough time to do its thing. Once the scraper is done, we need to fetch the results. Add another Appify module and select Get Dataset Items. Use the dataset ID generated by the previous module to pull in the scrape data. In the response of our first Appify module, it's called Default Dataset ID. So click on that to add it here. 
You can also set a limit on the number of rows. 50 is a solid starting point if you don't want to overwhelm the Google Sheet. Once everything's set up, click Run Once at the bottom of your scenario in Make.com. This will trigger the workflow and pull the response from Appify so that you can check that the data is coming through correctly. If all goes well, you'll see your scrape results ready to flow into the next step. Exciting, right? Let's keep going. All right, let's get everything organized. Open Google Drive and create a new spreadsheet called LinkedIn Jobs. Now we need to add headers like position, company name, location, apply URL, and description. But here's the key. To make sure these headers match the fields from the scrape data, you'll want to take a quick look at the results from Appify. When you ran the scraper and fetched the data using the Get Dataset Items module, Appify returned a preview of the fields it captured. Check those results to identify the exact names of the fields, like title for position or company name for the company name. Use those field names as your guide for creating the headers in your Google Sheets. This step ensures that the data flows seamlessly into the correct columns when we map it later in make.com. A little extra effort here saves a ton of headaches down the line. Back in make.com, add a Google Sheets module and select Add a Row. Connect your Google account if you haven't already. Choose the sheet you just created and map the data fields to the corresponding columns. For example, map position to title, company name to company name, and so on. Once everything is mapped, run the scenario again to test it. Check your Google Sheet and voila, your data is now neatly organized. Now, let's make this workflow completely hands-free. You didn't set up all of this just to come back every day and click a button, right? Let's schedule it so it runs automatically. Head over to the scheduling settings in make.com. You'll see an option to, to define how often you want the scenario to run. If you're actively monitoring job updates, setting it to run daily is a great choice. It keeps your data fresh and up to date. On the other hand, if you're just doing occasional research, you might want to set it to run weekly instead. Pick the interval that works best for you. Once you've selected the frequency, save your setting and activate the schedule. At this point, you've basically got a personal assistant working in the background, scraping LinkedIn jobs for you like clockwork. You won't need to lift a finger. But let's take it a step further. Remember the variables you created earlier in the tools module? You can tweak them anytime to search for new roles, locations, or other criteria. Say you want to switch from scraping sales manager jobs in the United States to marketing specialist roles in Canada. All you need to do is update the variables in that first module and the rest of the workflow just adjusts automatically. No need to touch the JSON or reconfigure anything. Just update, save, and let the automation do its thing. If you want to even get fancier, you can automate these variable updates too. For example, you could create a Google Sheet with a list of keywords and locations you want to rotate through and have make.com pull the next set of variables from that sheet. This way, your scraper can dynamically change its criteria without you ever having to log in. It's next level automation and makes your setup even more flexible. Once everything's running smoothly, take a moment to step back and appreciate what you just built. This is a scalable system that not only saves you time, but also eliminates human error. It works 24 seven, whether you're sleeping, working on other tasks, or even on vacation. With this schedule in place, your LinkedIn job scraper becomes a true set and forget it tool. And the best part, when you come back to check your Google Sheet, you'll find it neatly updated with fresh data, like a gift from automation itself. It doesn't get better than that. And that's it. You've just built a fully automated system that scrapes LinkedIn jobs and organizes them in a Google Sheet. It's efficient, it's scalable, and it saves you a ton of time. No more manually scrolling or copying and pasting. If this video gave you that light bulb moment, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications so you never miss a new video. And hey, if you're sitting there thinking, Jake, this is awesome, but what else do you got? I've got you. Check out our school community link below. 
It's loaded with templates, resources, and a bunch of automation enthusiasts who are just as obsessed with streamlining life as we are. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Remember, work smarter, not harder, and keep automating. I'll catch you in the next video.